In this video, we are going to see the topic of Arrival Overview in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. Basically, Arrival Overview helps the store user or the person who is sitting in the inbound team to, to have an idea about what are the items which he or she is going to receive during a particular day or in a week based on the setup we have configured in the Arrival Overview profile. So basically, this Arrival Overview will help you to understand the items whatever the products which you are going to receive that basically the incoming items right so in this video we are going to see the standard process of how to create the arrival overview or how to use the functionality of arrival overview right and uh, i am in order if you are watching this video for the first time i am sriram sevashankaran i am posting videos related to microsoft Times 365 finance and operation and previously we have just covered a video regarding item arrival journal posting also if you have not watched that video please do check out that particular video and then you can come back to this right i have also shared the link for that in the description so let's quickly get into this video so in order to view the details user need to click on arrival overview so inside the arrival overview page we have the following four four steps right so first one is the arrival option so inside the arrival option user can either select create a new arrival overview profile and then assign it so that the system takes the parameters based on the arrival overview profile which you have created the days back forward arrows vendor item number or you are searching for the receipts based on a specific account number or you want to check the receipts based on the production order or for the purchase orders alone so all these setups can be configured in the arrival overview profile Right. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create a new arrival overview profile. So click on the on the action pane. So I'm creating an arrival overview profile name as test. And I want to want the system to show all the lines. Right. So that's the reason I'm just selecting all the lines. And uh, I want to see for the next seven days what are the list of items which is going to which are going to be received in my barrows and uh, i'm not specifying any specific account number if you want you can specify that the uh, vendor account number and uh, also journal is important based on the journal name yeah uh, item arrival journal will be posted so this is the journal which we created in the previous video so i'm selecting the same and then in the arrival query if you want to restrict any specific sites you can also do that so i am not going to restrict any sites but in this arrival overview profile aopn i want to view all the items which are going to be received through purchase orders or production orders or transfer orders which are being shipped and going to be received in in my warehouse or it can be quarantine orders so i'm selecting all these toggles but if you want to have written orders you can create a separate profile for that so I'm saving this particular arrival overview profile already in the standard a return order arrival overview profile is created so user can use this profile to check the return receipts also maybe sales returns or purchase returns whatever it may be so I click on save and then I go back now I select the arrival overview profile which we created right now so moment I select the arrival overview profile the configurations from the profile are copied to this page right so now once after after uh, kind of selecting the arrival overview profile name now in the receipt section before getting to the receipt section i need to click on update once i click on update based on the configuration whatever we have, we have given and the days forward seven days for the next seven days system is telling to us that these are the list of orders or the items which we are going to sorry orders which we are going to receive and uh, the moment if we click on any specific pur purchase order, maybe I'll select this particular purchase order, then click on line script, then it will show me these are the list of lines which are going to be received, right? So it gives a very good idea to the Varos inbound team that these are the list of items which are going to be received based on the delivery dates. And uh, I need to make my inbound dock ready so that these items can be received on a smooth basis, right? So this is the whole idea of using arrival overview. Also, in this page, it is not mandatory to, to provide an arrival overview profile name. You can also delete it. And uh, simply you can run for today. If I want to see, you can, what are the list of items which I'm going to receive? Just update the days forward as zero and days backward as zero. 
and then click on update then system will tell you these are the so today we don't have any receipts so warehouse team the inbound team does not have any receipts for today so for the next seven days for a specific warehouse maybe i can type 24 or whatever maybe the warehouse type it and then I, if i click on update then system will tell me that against the warehouse 24 so against the warehouse 24 also there is no receipts for the next seven days let me type for maybe next 30 days for the next one month what are the receipts in the warehouse 24 if i want to see that i think it is also not there so so this is how we generally take the requirements for a warehouse and then we understand because the days back also since we have mentioned zero it has still calculating the values based on the current date so the moment i removed it removed the zero from the days back it has calculated for the next 30 days these are the list of purchase orders or work or inventory blocking all the transactions in the system which are applicable for inventory receipts or coming over here right so by using this the store inbound team will be able to quickly know that these are the list of items which we need to receive and by clicking on the respective purchase order let's say this is the purchase order i select the purchase order and then against this purchase order there is one item which is coming to the warehouse so i am there is thousand quantity against this so i can click on i have already i think uh, since we have removed the arrival overview profile the journal name is missing so i'm manually selecting the journal name otherwise it would have copied directly from the arrival overview profile name now once i click on start arrival system will complete the arrival create an arrival journal and then complete the arrival journal process so with this reference if i go back to the item arrival posting and then from that page i will be able to post the item arrival which is created so the item arrival journal is created so if you have checked my previous video then i have clearly explained how to complete a product receipt by using the item arrival journal similarly you can complete the item arrival journal for transfer orders or uh, production orders whatever it may be so basically i arrival overview help the store user to understand what are the list of items which will be received for the time frame or for a specific warehouse whatever we have given and based on which the warehouse team will be able to make the inbound dock ready and uh, complete the product receipts on a smooth manner right so that's a, that's the topic for the today so hope to see you in another interesting topic so we have completed some major topics in procurement and sourcing now we are getting into the inventory management module so we start off with arrival overview and an item arrival process please do follow my profile if in case if you want to learn about the other SEM modules and functionalities of dynamics 365 finance and operation thank you